The new PMA cadet commandant wants to put an end to hazing at the academy. And he also wants to change the PMA's culture of violence and silence into that of peace and understanding. Let's get the rest of the story from Roy Sesnagi. New PMA Cadet Commandant Romeo Bronner Jr. declares war on hazing as the military academy is reeling from the death of Cadet 4th Class Darwin Dormitorio because of hazing. Bronner was the Deputy Commander of Task Force for now in Marawi. He replaced Bartolome Bacano who stepped down following Dormitorio's death. In a statement, Bronner said that he is expecting everyone under his jurisdiction, especially the Cadet Corps, to fight hazing. Bronner also described the death of Dormitorio as a symptom of a big societal problem. The new commandant adds that the culture of violence and silence within the PMA must be replaced with a culture of peace and understanding. And to achieve this, Bronner is suggesting to change the mindset of the cadets in the academy. The PMA commandant assures parents of cadets that the academy will take good care and look after them, whether they're plebes or upperclassmen. In the wake of Dormitorio's death, former PMA Superintendent Ronnie Evangelista stepped down from his post. But the House's Makabayan Block says his resignation is not enough. The party wants those who had a hand in Dormitorio's death be held accountable. Replacing Evangelista is Alan Cusi, a vice commander of the Philippine Navy. He will be starting on his new post next week. Na alarma tayo uh, sa tinatawag na common practice na ito. No, dahil hindi po yan isang common practice, yan ay matagal ng band, yan ay illegal at sa, sa pinakamalalang forma nito, yan talaga ay isang krimen. Hindi ka tanggap-tanggap no, na uh, sa dami ng mga nasa posisyon ngayon uh, sa gobyerno, maski sa Senado, ang nagtatanggol uh, dito uh, sa tradisyon na ito na tinatawag nila. No, dahil uh, hindi po sapat na batayan yung sabihin na yan ay tradisyon o isang common practice no, para isubject ang mga aplikante, ang mga kadete sa ano pang tipo ng mga abuso, pangmamaltrato pang at ang hazing. No, kaya... Naninindigan po tayo na yung mga eskwelahan no, at hindi exception dyan ng PMA, uh, yan po dapat ay isang ligtas na lugar. Magkabayan also slams officials who defended hazing because it's supposedly a school tradition. Dinadownplay nila yung uh, isang fascist uh, system inside the military. Ang uh, tawag na nila ngayon dyan, maltreatment. Uh, hazing is, uh, uh, hindi lang yan siya illegal na, wala dapat puwang yan sa isang uh, susudad uh, sa isang uh, ka, lipunan na katulad natin no na minomold mo ang isang tao na maging isang pasista. No? So yun ang hamon natin diyan, ang liderato ng PNP, liderato ng AFP, uh, si Pangulong Duterte mismo no. They have to abhor hazing in all forms, in all levels no. At hindi i-justify dahil nag, that molds their uh, persona. Eh litingnan niyo naman kung ganoon pala yung klaseng persona ang uh, mga personalities ang na-form because of the hazing that explains why no na uh, parang wala parang baliwala sa kanila ang buhay on the other hand house deputy majority leader Bernadette Herrera D is proposing random checks on PMA cadets to know if they've been abused or maltreated Herrera D also urges the Defense Department and the PNP to submit the list of trainings that cadets undergo. She is pushing for a criminal code and an updated criminal investigation process. Siguro ang importante lang dito, um, imandate kaagad yung ating national defense na ilista kung up to what extent yung pwede dun sa physical, um, yung pwede dun sa physical, psychological na extra na kailangan nilang gawin. Hindi totally exempting them. Kaya ito yung tinitignan ko na baka yun ang nagiging excuse nila. Meanwhile, Diwa Partilist Representative Michael Edgar Aglipay suggested that third-party health professionals must conduct such examinations on cadets. Aglipay said this is to prevent doctors allegedly like the one who handled dormitorio from concealing the patient's true condition. Aglipay also wants doctors who address dormitorio be held accountable. The plebe was hospitalized thrice before he died. They are against hazing. Miski dumaan sila lahat sa hazing. Kasi iba na ho yung ages, ay iba na ho yung panahon ngayon. In, there are some other ways to test the physical and mental uh, aptitude of uh, our recruits. For News 5, Royce Nagit, we are One News.